Spang's flying car, will it change the way we live? Everyone's been talking about Spang's new flying car in the last few months, and with good reason. The car promises to make it easier to get around than ever before, flying above traffic to go where you want to go and in the process making life much more convenient for commuters and less stressful for families. But how exactly will this technology change our lives? Introducing Spang. China-based automotive startup Spang Motors has unveiled their new high-tech flying car at CES 2018. The fully autonomous VTOL or vertical takeoff and landing vehicle can reach speeds of up to 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour, on the ground and 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour, in flight mode. And while it's still a concept, there's no doubt that it will have a huge impact on our lives. So, what are some implications of Spang's new flying car? Let's find out. The story behind Spang. Back in 2013, Chinese tech company Ehong made headlines when it unveiled its self-flying drone at CES. Now, four years later, China's Ehong is back but now its new device isn't a drone. In January 2017, Ehong debuted an electric car that can fly. The company calls it Spang, pronounced Xipun. The vehicle can fly for up to 23 minutes and reach speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. And while that may not sound like much compared to other flying vehicles, such as Terrafugia Incorporated's transition, which flies for about half an hour at highway speeds, but Spang has one major advantage over other flying cars, you don't need a pilot's license to operate it. Risks associated with flying cars. Transporting flying cars from one location to another can pose major risks to flight traffic, especially in densely populated urban areas. There are two primary concerns. One, collisions with piloted aircrafts and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, which may result in mid-air collisions or collisions with air traffic control systems. And, two, collisions with other airborne vehicles such as drones, birds, or balloons. The first concern is particularly relevant to low-altitude airspace below 1,000 feet above ground level, AGL. The Federal Aviation Administration's FAA, recent report on collision hazards of small UAS, unmanned aircraft systems, with civil aviation indicates that most drone accidents occur at altitudes below 200 feet AGL where manned airplanes are also operating. A crash between a drone and a manned airplane could cause catastrophic damage to both parties. Can everyone fly a flying car? Probably not. And that's a good thing. If flying cars were to become ubiquitous, they would offer nothing special over a car that could drive on roadways. The novelty of being able to fly is what makes them so unique and exciting in today's imagination. Take away that aspect, and you're just left with a car. That doesn't mean everyone will have access to one but it also doesn't mean we should expect everyone to have access to one. There are plenty of people who don't have access to a car right now, either should we be concerned about that? Should you buy a flying car? Looking to buy your first flying car? Find out if it's something you should buy or even invest in. Investing in a flying car could very well be one of your worst moves ever, but purchasing one would give you access to virtually endless freedom. All things considered, let's take a look at what exactly you can expect from a modern flying car and whether or not it's time for you to get yours. The best place to purchase a new Micro 4 Motion MMF, vehicle is through local dealerships or online. Do some research on how they work, price them carefully. Consider their durability under different conditions and above all else pick one that fits into your situation. There are also cheaper ones available such as those offered by used specialist sellers. Check out Craigslist for more information about ads around town. Don't forget that these motorcycles aren't just smaller than usual cars, they're lighter too. Where can you buy a flying car? You can't at least not yet. Spang is still in development and has yet to provide a ship date. The company did, however, release a video of its prototype, below. While only a concept at present, you can sign up on their website to be notified when it goes on sale. Be prepared to take out some serious cash the price tag is expected to be between $200,000 and $300,000. How much do they cost to operate and maintain? Although Spang didn't reveal many details about their new flying car, they did say it will be priced at $300,000. At that price, customers can expect to pay a lot of money to operate and maintain it. After all, there's no such thing as a free lunch not even when it comes to your everyday commute. Can I drive my own flying car or is it more like a taxi service? Driving your own vehicle is going to be a luxury for some time. It's likely that Uber, Lyft, or a similar ride-sharing service will become commonplace long before you're able to get in your Spang and drive it home yourself. Could this create a world without traffic jams? And if so, what else would change? China's new electric vehicle manufacturer, Spang, has announced that it plans to release a flying car in 2018. If successful, it will represent a major advancement in human transportation capabilities.
Thank <laughs> you.